This one's for JJ. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching the Venom vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we are going to do an unboxing of a, a really cool product from Arcade 1UP. Uh, I am not sponsored by them in this video at all. I just saw this online and I've been wanting it for a long time. I was really impressed. Actually, this countertop is really cool. I spent a whole day messing around with it, checking out the different features, you know, uh, checking out what it can do, what it, some of its limitations were. Um, and overall, though, the gameplay itself, I had a lot of fun, you know, revisiting these old classic Marvel Capcom games, which I really love. I'm a big fan of. And also just uh, the way I set it up, I had this like a uh, book stand kind of thing that I had for my old apartment and I realized that it was right about the same height as like my waist the only downside is is that it's really wobbly you know so uh, if you don't put anything sturdy on the bottom which I don't have anything sturdy right now on the bottom to kind of pin it down it wobbles a bit so uh, so you'll see that in some of the footage of me playing and stuff but it overall though it didn't you know affect my overall enjoyment of the game and and uh, in the system itself and playing it um, I love the light up marquee that's really cool very classic uh, you know I love that you it has an audio jack so if you want because uh, some people I saw online I saw their reviews saying you know the audio isn't that good I thought the audio was pretty good and this is coming from someone with one ear So I thought I heard it pretty well, but I think it's the way it sits on my uh, bookshelf there or the, the shelf. I think it, it sits a little high so the sound bounces right off of the top shelf and comes right out. Um, but it could be a little bit better. So I plugged in headphones to see how that worked and that actually sounded really good. And then I went and bought a sound bar online because I saw reviews of this saying that the sound is a little iffy. So just in case I bought this sound bar that was only like 20 bucks on Amazon and plug that in and I had to use the audio jack and the USB drive uh, on the other side because that's actually for a controller if you want to play two player and you can't fit next to each other because it's a really close quarters you know uh, situation so if you want to plug a, a controller in you can have someone play as a second player and stand a little bit away from you so you, you can both play side by side um, but I use that for the sound bar because that's you needed both to plug in and the sound bar sounded great so I'm gonna leave that sound bar on there because it definitely amplified the sound of the game and just really immersed me even more. <laughs> To go back and play these, like to play the Punisher game, I had a lot of fun playing that one. Uh, I don't know if I've ever played that in the arcade before, so playing it here for the first time was great. And it was like an old beat 'em up style, you know, like uh, Fist of Rage or one of those types of games, um, Streets of Rage, sorry, where you're running around just beating up bad guys and you're trying to track down the kingpin. So. That was fun to play that for the first time and you get like little cinematics and you know old school arcade cinematics it tells you the history of the punisher and who his family was and how they got killed and how he became the punisher and then it sets you right into the game it's it's really cool it's really well done i love it a lot um and then playing the marvel game uh, you know with the the gems getting all the infinity gems um i played as blackheart i was like okay i gotta play a ghost rider character or one of the supernatural characters and he was really the only one there other than shuma Garath. so i was like all right let's play as blackheart and i almost lost against iron man uh, I Iron Man was really good. I kept on a normal setting. You can actually change the difficulty on all these games to very easy, to super hard. I just kept it factory default, which was like, I think, a normal setting, like a level four. Um, so, you know, I almost got beat, though, on level four, <laughs> you know, just on normal. Um, but that's pretty I mean, that makes sense. I'm not great at fighting games, although I do love Marvel vs. Capcom a lot. But I'll get there because before Marvel vs. Capcom, there was X-Men vs. Street Fighter. So much fun. I, I had such a blast. And picking Sabretooth, I had to go with Sabretooth um, and Charlie because I'm more of a, a Guile guy. But Charlie's the version they have. You know, he's that type of character, that fighting style uh, that they have in the game. So X-Men vs. Street Fighter, a lot of fun. Definitely really good to revisit that. And then, of course, Marvel vs. Capcom. So this was fun to go back and play um, because I think I've, I may have only played this on the arcade. And then when it came out on like... 
maybe Sega or, you know, the, the Dreamcast or something like that. Or maybe it was a PlayStation 1. I can't remember, but it's so long ago. Uh, but uh, but this having this arcade and playing more vs. Capcom and diving in as Venom, I mean, that was the whole thing. That's what makes it a Venom vlog episode is that, you know, Venom, it's a it's a game with Venom in it. And, and that's why I wanted to bring it here to the Venom vlog and do an unboxing, show some of the footage, show off some of the features, and, you know, have pop-ups and videos uh, pop up on screen and kind of give you the experience or a, sh a shred of the experience that I had, but just telling you in my words how much fun this was. It was so great to revisit all of these games, except for Punisher, which I believe was my first time ever playing it, uh, but to go back and play these games uh, and have them here at, I got the, arc, you know, the machine, I think it runs 229, but every once in a while you can find it on sale on Arcade 1UP for 179. And again, I'm not sponsored by them. I, I paid the money. I just broke it up into four payments. So I did like 40 or 50 bucks or something like that uh, over like four payments because um, it was 179 plus shipping. Um, so it came out to like 205 or something like that. So yeah, it was like 50 bucks every two or three weeks, I think they charged me. Um, and it's funny because I've had this in a box, in the original box that it shipped in for like uh, almost two months now. I haven't even opened it. So I actually fully paid it off before I even opened it today to, to check it out. So yeah, I mean, what a great experience. I'm glad I have it. Uh, this is, you know, it's not a stand-up arcade machine, which is kind of what I wanted, but for my budget and for, you know, you can't be greedy. It's like we all want things, but reality hits us all the time. And to still you know, get something like this was still a little bit out of my budget. The only re reason I was able to pull it off was because I was able to break it over uh, small payments um, of $50. So that was the only reason I was able to get this because I get paid every two weeks. So I just timed it to come out every paycheck. Uh, so yeah, it was, I got lucky. Um, and I got lucky that it was on sale for $179 and getting it cheaper for the $229 price point, which I feel like could still be worth it if you're a hardcore fan. But for me, getting it under $200, bucks, I, I think that makes it and clinches it for me. And then to get the sound bar included in, like, the, you know, spend another 20 bucks for that and then use my Venom headphones if I need that. All of that just enhances the experience and, and made it a blast. So if you have one of these arcade machines or if you're thinking about getting one, which one are you thinking about getting? Which one do you have? What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? Let me know down in the comments below. And which of these four games are you a fan of, if not all four of them? Because uh, now after playing The Punisher, I played it for like an hour and a half. I am so in i want to beat it now like i want to just keep going and, and finish it up because i died a couple times and but it lets you have unlimited continues and everything so i'm like hey i'm just taking my time because i was playing a little bit then i jumped to another game and then i come back to punisher play a stage or two and then go back so I'm going to get there, but uh, I'm having a blast playing it, and I'm loving all the other games, too. So uh, let me know what your favorite is down below. And if you're a fan of Blue Venom like we are, we've talked about him a bunch on the show because of this game. Uh, he's got, you know, Blue Venom. There's also, like, a purple variant of him, too. Uh, it's really cool to, to play that and have hear him go, we will eat your brains, you know, and all the winning, you know, things that he says when he taunts you and stuff. <laughs> Venom. We want to eat your brain. With the symbiote coming off and, you know, uh, snarling at you. It's so fun. So awesome. So thank you so much for watching this episode. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. In the next episode, I will be reviewing Venom Lethal Protector number five. I'm so glad this series is over. And we will dive into that for the next Venom vlog. So I'll see you then. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.